Yes, it's live. Explore Nollywood on 92.3 Inspiration FM. <laughs> I'm here talking about news and information on the Nigerian film industry. But today I have in the studio the group ED and CEO of Film One Distribution. Now, Film One Distribution is the parent company for Film House Cinemas, Signatures, and Ninja. And I have in the studio Moses Babatokwe. Yeah, did I get that? I didn't miss anything. I didn't call it in a weird way. <laughs> it's Moses Babatokwe. I have the ED and CEO, COO yes. of Film One Distribution in the studio. And in the last 15 years, Moses has a track record as a film distribution strategist in the UK releasing nigerian content so he is yeah also a judge at the screen international awards and producer of when love happens that was directed by your brother though my cousin yes. your cousin yes. oh why do i think you guys were like but you look alike he like my cousin my brother yeah, my <laughs> yeah it's the same yeah. thing so he's here today he's going to be talking about the film distribution business as much as we can cover today i want to like grill him i've started already and he's like you know what if he i'm in the mood bring it on and yes we've started we're talking we are started talking about the business of film we started talking about cinemas but if you want to ask moses any questions or you have any comments as it relates to film house for those of us because film house is basically everywhere across the nation so if you have any questions for him, you can call us now on 0700-923-923-923 or send a WhatsApp message to 081-731-36193. I did that gently. So now you guys will not say, if it's really didn't give us the chance to speak to Moses. But now that we have you here, Moses, tell us about film distribution, its successes and challenges in our great country, Nigeria. Wow, that's a loaded question. Um, <laughs> first of all, thank you so much for having me. Oh, and, uh, you're it's, welcome. It's great to be here, and um, thanks to Inspiration FM for doing a great job in you know publicizing, publicizing, and you know um, supporting Nollywood, Nollywood. and okay. encouraging the conversations. Um, mm. Film distribution in Nigeria. Wow, successes and challenges. Yeah. I, I think we've come a very long way. Yeah. Um, I, I try to define um, distribution film distribution to a lot of people as mm. you thinking of a travel agent okay yeah and let's just let's let's make it specific to air travel okay. um right now we have an online you know travel agents you have you know travel agents that are still doing manually yeah. but you can go to the airlines and book your ticket yeah you all can. right you use a travel agent to help you probably get the best deals mm -hmm. you know get you know ease of booking stuff you yeah. know for you um, just taking away the burden, yeah. and and the film distributor is no different, really. Okay. Is is that is that agent that business that aggregates the best deals, mm -hmm. has the relationships, okay. all right, with the platforms, mm. um, packages the product, yeah. you know, um, does a lot of marketing, okay, you know, um, and gets the product to, to you know to the marketplace, yeah. you know, that's what a distributor. And I think so. In order to address the successes and challenges, it's great yeah. to understand what the distributor does, yeah. all right, because a lot of people would always think what what is distribution about, really? yeah. That's what I was you even know? thinking. Yeah. So is it like the wholesaler and retailer kind of thing? You are the wholesaler. Yeah, kind of like mm, it's it's okay, not it's, it's not it's not it's not different. Yeah. yeah, but it's always good to understand that that is a specialist skill. You yeah. know, to understand you know what the producer has brought to you and to understand mm -hmm. what the platform needs. Okay, you know, so by platform I mean so the distributor will supply to cinemas, for example, yeah. and mm -hmm. then after that it will supply to airlines, for example. Okay. After that, it will supply to TV and VOD, for mm. example. Okay. You know, um, and, and that leads me to the successes. I, I think over the last, you know, five to seven years, you've seen, you know, our films now transcend beyond just playing in cinemas, okay. you know, locally. Yeah. Our films play in cinemas internationally now, yeah. in selected yeah. cinemas. Mm. If you go on respectable airlines or, sorry, international airlines, <laughs> I said respectable airlines, international <laughs> airlines, you see the best of our product also oh. on, on, on those. Yeah. Um, the, the biggest internet platform, you know, in Netflix. the world, Netflix. Yeah. You have our films on there as mm. well. You know, um, uh, the DVD market is still there. Yeah. You know, if you, if you roll back maybe 10, 12, maybe 15 years ago, probably your 
market that he had was VCD, DVD, yeah. and, and TV, yes. and only a handful of TV stations. So mm -hmm. I think in terms of successes, we now have a, a wider array of platforms yeah. that are available to you know um, showcase our work, okay. and from, as a result, you you get paid for that. Okay. In terms of challenges, they are not enough. <laughs> Yes, yeah, those 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 ones are not enough. Those channels uh, are not enough. They are not enough mm. at, at at the moment. We want them to be more. Mm. In terms of challenges, we would love a situation where we had you know more people giving our films a chance. Okay. You know, by that I'm saying more patronage at the cinemas, okay. more you know more patronage <laughs> online. You, you know, go that kind watch of stuff. Nigerian movies. Watch Nigerian movies. So Buy Nigeria to grow the naira. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, challenges. We still have challenges with funding. Okay. You know, we have challenges with skill set. You mm. know, for for distribution, really understanding what distribution is about. Okay. You know, so those are some of the things. But in, we look, we we can't, we cannot be. You know, we, it will be wrong for us not to be grateful for where we are. Yeah. You okay. know, um, and, 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 and look, the future is so bright. Yeah, so th there's a bit of what you've said that has even dovetailed into strategy. Yeah. And then strategy is a word that, because I have a regular 95, I use all the time. So okay. there's a digital strategy, there's a communication strategy, Absolutely. there's this strategy. So yeah. what does it take to be a strategist? Because yes. you have... It is in your profile that yes. you, are a, you are a film distribution strategist. Yes. And then what is Film One doing in terms of creating that environment where people can learn about film distribution? Very good question. And mm. so from, from I mean, I, I, I try not to also get into the bandwagon of using strategy for strategy's sake. <laughs> you okay. know, the word, you know, if you go into definition, is is, is about you know, having a plan, mm, you know, having yeah. an overall objective, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and for the way we, we see it is for every film, mm. we have to have a plan, a long-term, yeah. a medium-term, a short-term plan, you know, depending on the kind of film. Okay. And basically, you know, throughout my, you know, experience or my years of working so far in, in the space, it's been how do we, first of all, how do we position the film? Okay. How, what's the market for the film? Mm -hmm. You know, what do we want to get out of the film in terms of taking it to the marketplace? Yeah. So those are the kind of questions we ask you ourselves. There are more broader questions before yeah. we then hone in on the finer details. Okay. All right. So that's mm -hmm. more on the strategy side. Mm -hmm. And what is film what do, doing? Um, I think in in the past um, f almost four years now that we've been in existence, I think we've done a great job of training. Okay. Um, those that are working with us, we've gotten them to really understand that mm -hmm. it is not just a word or it's not just a lot of people have this understanding that distribution is just very much brokerage yeah right give me your film and i'll take it to where they will show it yeah and we've been in, in our in our almost four years we've shown that there's a lot to it mm -hmm. you know the marketing side is very very important yeah. the technical side is very important so mm -hmm. what format your film comes in the QC, yeah. the quality control for the platforms is going okay. on. You know, um, <laughs> things like even payments and taxes, yeah. you know, box office reporting. Yeah. You know, there's a lot a lot to it. And so, in marketing, we divide it into five or six components from PR to event marketing yeah. to print marketing to digital marketing, yeah. you know, to the traditional stuff. Um, you know, so it, it goes on. And we, that we now do more international um, distribution. There's a lot more you know relationship building that you know needs to go that into... needs to go into getting the films out there okay you know what percentages are they you know are they charging us you okay. know what are their distribution expenses okay. i don't getting... want to go into a master class so, <laughs> so yeah i what, know I'm, no. I'm, but i'm getting in as in you can see my eyes are like widening as yeah. i'm speaking to you as yeah. in i'm listening to what you're saying and everything yeah and again i just want to put it out i'm not I'm not, I don't want to hug Moses to myself. If you have any questions for Moses Babatokwe, he's in the studio, the COO of Film One Distribution. You can call us now on 0700-923-923-923 or send a WhatsApp message to 081-731-36193. Now, um, as at the last time when I had um, Kene Umparo in the studio, there was a thought behind you, the building of cinemas for um, Film House. So the last one being IMAX, which was about a year plus ago. Yes. Yeah, because I was there. Thanks anyway. for remembering that. Thank you. <laughs> so because I was there. But how how has it been now since IMAX and IMAX, wonderful when I, we watched Avatar that night. So I was, I was impressed. But how has it been now? How is it going? What is the plan from there? Great. Um, mm. Great to know, first of all, my um, boss and business partner was on this platform. Oh, Thank you. I'm following uh, you guys. Yeah, like I'm, sure, I'm sure he had great to say. He's, he's the master and like, um, shout out to him on, yeah. on that. Um, 
um, we were very, again, grateful for the privilege to bring a format like the IMAX, you know, to Nigeria. Yeah, and yeah. More, more so grateful to Nigerians for the recep receptivity, yeah. you know, to that format. And, you know, the fact that they're able to also appreciate that we have to price it, you know, in a premium way. Yeah, for us to be able to, you know, it's a, it's a very, very expensive um, format. Mm. For us at Filmhouse, our ambition, our vision is to be number one. Yeah. You know, it's to not just be number one for saying sake, but to be number one in terms of the service we offer our guests number one in terms of the location the geographical spread you mm -hmm. know for people to get to, and to be number one in you know engendering and encouraging the cinema going culture okay all right and 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 to that extent we are looking at opening you know in, we're looking at opening a few locations this year um, um so that you know people can get more into you know the cinema you know going culture. experience and yeah. culture so hopefully you'll be hearing more and more as we you know um as we finalize them we're hoping we're hoping to hope you know to open about three or four okay. locations this year okay uh, we're looking at you know um we're planning another imax um i can't disclose where the location i can will be, i can tell but, but we are <laughs> planning another imax um uh, but we're just trying to ensure that you know for uh, most places in the world cinema mm. is mass market cinema is lifestyle yeah you know and for you demographic that nigeria has you know that's our, our intention is to make cinema that um okay. we started and hopefully with more funding with more success we okay. can expand faster okay hello we have a caller hello okay. hello yeah what's your name and where you calling from hello hello can hello what's your name can you turn down the volume of your radio please okay Okay, you can still call us on 0700-923-923-923. When you call, please turn down the volume of your radio set. It's 2018. The voice, the, the stuff, it, it clashes, so you need to turn it down. We're going on a quick break in a bit. Okay. Uh, I have Obina in the studio, if you, if you can get it right now, and then you, you'll hear me. But he's giving me the signal, and I don't know what that means. But anyway, <laughs> it um, I have one of those pertinent questions I wanted to ask. And on my show, I had um, Uduak Isong. I would just go Uduak Isong. And in fact, I had CJ Obasi and then there was Uduak Isong. And they said categorically that most times the cinema owners stifle their creativity and stop them from creating certain types of movies. So we had treated it and they were like, okay, there are some certain kind of movies that cinema owners say, you know what, you can't show it. It's not good. I don't know whether it's not going to make sense, but you can't show it. So is this correct? And if so, why is this prevalent? I, I think, I, I think the, the, way, the way to maybe address that question is, look, for us as cinema operators and for us that operate in the film distribution space, we are very much concerned about what works for the audience, what the audience like, what the audience want to see on the screen in their numbers, not what a segment or what a niche want to see because it's a business in the end, you know, at, 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 at the end. So yeah. for us, it's about what works, you know, commercially. Yeah. And we have data, you know, to back us. You know, we have historical records to back us on that. Mm -hmm. And that's how we make our decisions. Um, um, I, I, apologies or congratulations to the filmmakers that feel that their creativity is stifled. Mm. It's at the end of the day, it's a business that we're running, and we're going to respond to the demand of the audience. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to encourage you know filmmakers to do more of cinema going, to do more of market research, yeah, to, market do, more, research yeah, more. to do more of understanding where the Nigerian audience on their scenes are right now. Yeah. You know, I, I believe, I'm a firm believe, believer that in a few years, the landscape will be very different. Okay. And so, people that want to do horror, people that want to do sci-fi, people yeah. that want to do more niche stuff, might have a large enough numbers of a, a significant following, mm. you know, to do that, or would have enough infrastructure to support that. Okay. You know, right now, we don't have enough. Yeah. We have finite number of cinema screens. You know, advertising is very expensive. Yeah. So we need to maximize every opportunity we want. And that means we have to be specific about the content we show. Okay. That's such a business line, but we will <laughs> take it as in it, it's a business. My final question, I know we had discussed this, but um, we had a couple of acts, I had mentioned that before, who had expressed their, their, their views about the fact that 
there is this talk about we hit box office so we, meet, we hit like half a billion naira in box office for movies like the wedding party one wedding party two a wise i don't know ten trip to jump city. 10 days in sun city and this is a concern for filmmakers because they have other investors that automatically think that this is what um, is obtainable so what do you have to say to people like that especially because of this um, so they, they, there's mixed reactions and the fact that, okay, you people have put something in place. Can we know what that thing is so that we'll be able to communicate to our own investors that, okay, you know what, this is what I'm going to do in, for us to hit those box office numbers, basically. Great. My answer, my answer to um, filmmakers like that that have doubts about, you know, some of, some of those, you know, in that, some of those information is, mm. look, the, 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 the box office data is real. Yeah. It does happen. I do accept that some exaggerate. I do ex accept that some, you know, are false. Yeah. You know, but it doesn't stop those that have done their homework right from getting the desired results at okay. the box office. Yeah. We're proud to be behind wedding party movies and the AY movies that have done well. And mm -hmm. I can say I have no reason to falsify any records. I can say whatever you've heard out there is it's what true. it is. <laughs> However, you know, um, in terms of those that want to learn you know or want to understand how it really works so that it could help them in attracting investment my answer to them like i said to you pre you know this show is look that's my business intelligence if you if you if you want to understand and know it i have we do a consultancy in film one we can, we can take you through, <laughs> you through that if um um apple or samsung were giving their business intelligence out for free they won't be number one where they are so I'm happy for people to be cynical and, you know, to keep um, doubting and while, while we keep um, doing more films. Yeah, so I, I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. I have to wrap this up right now. I will definitely have Moses in the studio before this year runs out because the conversation before we got on air was quite deep. There's a lot that we want to talk about and I will definitely have you on. It has been Explore Nollywood on 92.3 Inspiration FM. Remember, you can follow me on social media platforms, facebook.com slash Explore Nollywood or Twitter and Instagram at Explore Nollywood. You can check out this interview. It's going to be up on YouTube on Failingly by Tuesday. So you can subscribe and then check it out. Once the notification comes, you can come and watch me and Moses in the studio as we talk about film and the business of film. Till I come your, your way again next week, I want to say thank you to all who tuned in. Thank you to Moses to, for coming on. And then we will see you hopefully next week. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. I look forward to be back. Thank you. <laughs>